All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome into today's edition of In the Game. I am your host, Hustle, and as always, we're going to dive into the market. But more importantly, I see so many comments, so many messages saying that, you know, gaming isn't going to be a narrative this cycle. The gaming tokens are dead, that the, the amount of attention and other narratives, you need to sell out of all of your gaming tokens, and you need to pivot into other niches because gaming simply is not going to make it this cycle. Well, I have news for you. That is definitely it could not be further from the truth. And while AI, RWA, some of these other shiny new narratives are prevailing and, and meme coins, for example, gaming is literally just waiting to explode. And I'll go over the catalyst that could make it explode and why you should be DCA and gaming coins now when people are literally max fear and max fudding the gaming sector. So without further ado, let's get in the game. As always, guys, drop down, hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel. We're pushing for 100K subs, and I think we can hit it realistically by either the end of this month or the end of May. So help us out down below and hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, a quick shout out to all of our sponsors here on In the Game. We have Vulcan Forged, Ultra, Dreams Quest, Game Starter, NordVPN, Moon Tropica, Reality Metaverse, Xverse, and Pika Moon. So, links down below in the description for all of our sponsors here on the channel. And let's just take a look at the market briefly. Um, we see some coins at least bouncing. Um, one of our calls recently over the last couple of months, Box Bet. We had called this one at four cents. This one just keeps climbing at a $22 million market cap. Very, very happy with how this position has played out. Even in the midst of a lot of coins taking a hit in the market, this one is up 33% still on the 30 days. So that's very nice to see. But as you see, there's not a lot in the green. And, and this currently has a lot of people wondering, is the gaming narrative dead? Like we see all this blood in the market. AI coins have been the gist of, um, you know, every meme coins and AI have literally been the most popular, just flooding people's timelines with sentiment. This is the narrative for this cycle, et cetera. But look, the narrative shifts around and it doesn't take much for a narrative to get into the limelight. And I'll give you examples. So uh, first and foremost, let's just get into the sentiment check because this is going to be a pretty quick straight to the point show, but I think it needs to happen because the sentiment's getting a little low out there. And I think that's the time to double down, triple down on your gaming positions. I'm getting messages, comments, people in discord servers, people in the YouTube comments, even um, that people are starting to pivot from gaming coins into meme coins and AI. All right. This only means one thing. When capitulation starts to happen out of this niche, this it, gaming is definitely testing patience. Okay. I can't lie. I, I, I want more from the gaming niche right now, but at the same time, first of all, like let's look at from the bottom of some of these things. Like uh, let's go by market cap. Let's look at stuff like Superverse, which we've, you know, covered throughout the bull bear back to the bull. We look at this yearly chart guys. I mean, this thing's done 700%. Uh, if we look at stuff, like Wilder World even. Um, it's not going to be crazy, but 250%. We see stuff like Vulcan, which is up you know, 2.5x from its lows. We have Heroes of Mavia, which is multipled ever since it launched into the market. Crown this year. I mean, let's look at the one-year chart on Crown, up 2,500%. So you know, Citus, if we look at the one-year chart here, is up 481%. So there's plenty of gains that have happened in this market over the year, but I know we want more out of these coins. So this lull recently, over the last like month and a half, really, gaming coins just haven't been moving like we would expect them to. So, you know, first and foremost, I think this is the time to start buying. Like when people start capitulating and saying, ah, gaming's not going to be the one this cycle let me let me go buy ai meme coins deep in all this stuff and look i love those narratives and i i put out a second tweet here to kind of describe that ai coins are gaming coins last cycle a lot of promises a lot of speculation 
but not a lot of real products, okay? And half the AI projects out there, while I invest in a lot of AI projects, because guess what? They have good pumponomics, uh, pumpamentals behind them. I think they're going to do really well as far as price appreciation goes. Because for some reason in crypto, the less we know and the less developed something is, there's more speculation baked in. So we're able to invest and we see these lucrative valuations. Same thing with meme coins. There's just all speculation. These things go out to per, you know disproportionate valuations and that's just the game, right? But every AI project basically claims to do one of three things and they're all the exact same, but they're just trying to carve out and do the right marketing. And unfortunately for the gaming space, the marketing hasn't been there to the level of AI recently. But, uh, you know, this is a good recipe for price appreciation for the AI coins currently. And I do have AI bags, but you simply can't fade gaming this cycle. It's here to stay in a huge way. And after years of development, it's, it's time is literally right around the corner. And I'll give you some catalyst of what could happen um, in that narrative. But we see Elio actually replying to this tweet and, and saying, gaming going to moon harder than your worst nightmare once the fuse is lit. I cannot wait. Because I know he's seeing the same thing. Like Elio covers gaming coins so heavily and he he's building a gaming project. He sees the sentiment. And when people are doubting and people are starting to pivot like it's the second that people start to pivot that attention to other things, that's where you're going to get jumbled up. They're going to miss that next leg up for gaming. And I think gaming's run is going to be explosive. And the title of this video is something along the lines of, is gaming dead? Look, first and foremost, in the broad scale, gaming is bigger than film, music, and movies or, uh, and television combined as an industry. It's, it's bigger than all three of them combined. No matter if Future and Kendrick Lamar are beefing with Drake, they can't get bigger than the video game industry because the video game industry is just bigger uh, than, than all three of those mediums combined. But we look at the Web3 gaming space and two of the catalysts that set off the recent run back in February was Pixels, which you might have thought, oh, that fell off by now, didn't it? Well, over 24 hours, there are 524,000 unique active wallets over 30 days. Um, hey, let's see here. I think that they are pulling only one of these. But regardless, 524,000 active wallets. And if you look at the charts, their user count in growth is absolutely insane uh, that they have tracked within the Ronin ecosystem. And Heroes of Mavia set off the 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 recent gaming bull, whenever they launched their game and token back to back, all it takes is a fantastic rollout. Over the last year, there's been four products that launched a gaming bull run Echelon Prime, Big Time, Heroes of Mavia, and Pixels. Those are the four that set off this chain reaction in the market. So, what are the ones that are coming up that could potentially do the exact same thing? In my opinion, it's off the grid. You know, the sharpest looking Web3 game that we have to date. And Nyan Heroes. This is a sleeper. If you're not participating in their early test, I would absolutely go check it out. They recently partnered up here with Evil Geniuses, the 2023 Valorant World Champs. All of my, you know, uh, influencer gaming friends that I know in the space, they are playing this. They are loving it. And I think it has huge potential. And they do have their token coming up very soon. And there's lots of quality token launches coming up. Uh, we have, you know, Arcade, which I've been looking forward to Arcade for a couple of years at this point. We have Carrot from My Pet Hooligan. This one's going to be absolutely massive. I think people are sleeping on exactly how big this one's going to be. Uh, we have Xverse, which we'll talk about at the end of the show, but this is one of our sponsors launching with Cetify. They're uh, TGE is coming up here this month, actually. So a lot of key products are going to market. And a lot of these products actually have a real game behind them. So I think Nyan Heroes in the short term could be the one to set off that gaming catalyst. But off the grid is probably long term the one that's going to bring the gaming space up 10 notches, if I have to take a guess myself. Let's run through some news and then I'll go over the market quickly. Maybe give a couple of coins. After all of this sentiment, my sentiment in gaming is unwavered. I think that gaming is still going to be one of the top three niches this cycle. Meme coins aside, meme coins, that's not even a niche. That's a degenerate 
hobby. You need to get help if you're sitting in front of the photon screen all day, just, just degening meme, meme coins, okay? But in my opinion, it's AI, it's gaming, it's RWA. So gaming has to be in your stack. And we see products like Superverse, the ultimate grand strategy MMO just joined up with Superverse. We have My Pet Hooligan off the grid, Block Lords, Shrapnel. So many games are now building with the Superverse ecosystem. Eventually, what will be uh, much larger than just token integration. So very bullish for Superverse here. Like mentioned on last show, they have the new exchange lined up for the Senate token and the Citus ecosystem. I'm very bullish. Citus underneath one cent currently, great DCA, as well as Senate. I think once this gets on more exchanges, more accessible, much easier to get your hands on. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I think Katana Inu, great buy today. Um, if we were to get, we'll go pivot over to the charts here in just a second and kind of go over these. But here they're previewing. They recently did like their meme coin series with a bunch of different uh, dog with hat. They had Pepe. They have Doge. They have Shiba. They have all these big meme coins inside of the game. But whenever you take a look at the detail, just the graphics, the details, the quality of this, it's such high quality that um, I'm really excited for Katana Inu. And it has that middle of the ground meme coin cult like community but quality product which i really look for whenever we're talking about gaming and and just the sentiment behind it like one of our sponsors here moon tropica one of the most loyal communities i've ever seen in crypto i have to say and and it's pretty impressive that they show out every day on every tweet on every post on every video and and they come to play right and that's how you get exposure to the project and that's how you know there's that organic growth on the timeline like without social farming when your community's all over the place that's a key catalyst and projects like katana inu projects like moon tropica they definitely have that so Let's take a look at like the seven days. What's getting beat up over the head? Uh, we have Honeyland just came out with great updates. I think that that one's a good, uh, probably a good look at this point in time. I mean, AI coins are still in my lens. I think Blender's a good one. Moon Tropica, I mean, it's down 28% on the seven days. If you miss that initial run up, it could be a good time to potentially hop in there. Uh, when you're looking at the gaming side specifically, GameSwift is down 35% this month. Guildfy is down 36% this month. We have Decimated, one of my favorite Solana ecosystem games. I think that this one, it's getting close to a $10 million market cap. On the month, this thing is down 38%. These are unjustified dips across the space. The only one really that's up in the month is, is Champs. It's up 18% on the month, which is nice to see. It's been a pretty strong position given how low the market cap is. But yeah, let's go filter by the month here because... You know, there's some big winners up here, but at the end of the day, when we look at these 30-day charts, it's um, it's pretty crazy. Wag Me Games down 50% this month, and not, only positive developments have come out of the ecosystem. So very bullish on Wag Me, Mix Mob. I know they have a huge catalyst rolling out in the month of April. Uh, when we go down here, even big market cap stuff, like like big time, down 44%. We see stuff like Heroes of Mavia down 40%. Playable games. This one's going to kick up so hard whenever the Avalanche narrative comes back into the fold. Down 38%. So really in summary, like I don't know that there's a bad buy in the gaming market right now. Stack your Super, stack your Beam, stack your Ronin. Go in here, get your Creo engines, your Cetifies. Like Creo is down 25% this month. I think it's one of the best high quality, low market cap plays in the entirety of the market. So goes without saying, I think gaming is the avenue to start DCAing right now. And if you missed the AI niche, I think then definitely you still have some opportunities there as well. But I will say my number one buy in the market right now is Crown. Leading up to the Derby, this is my play. I think that no brainer, this will hit two bucks before the Derby. And I think this will hit 10 bucks long-term. So today, my main play, if you're asking in the comment section, is absolutely Crown. I think that the Kentucky Derby could be the big catalyst for Crown. And look, if this thing starts going up in multiples, the whole Solana gaming ecosystem could see a boost from that. So I'm looking at Crown right now around this $1.20 level. I think it's a fantastic accumulation, especially if you have no exposure to it. I think this is the play currently. 
And then what's a little fun in the market right now without some meme coins? I love this. Uh, I love this graphic right here. Is Costco hot dog above 150? No. If it's yes, it's time to beat inflation. What do I do? Buy more, coward. Uh, so look, Costco hot dogs are $1.50. I love this tweet by Bison. We had him on from Play the Heist a few months ago. He's dollar Costco hot dog averaging. The bun is still on and the hot dogs are in control. So very bullish on Costco hot dog. If this doesn't hit $1.50, the world will lose its equilibrium and it won't be spinning on its axis correctly. That is just the way it is. It's how it's programmed. So Soul Hot Dog or, or Costco Hot Dog, definitely a top meme play for me currently. And Foxy on Linea. This one launched today. It's around a $60 million market cap. I think this will be the biggest meme coin on the Linea chain. And look, the first moving meme coins on these chains are massive. We saw Brett. We saw stuff like Uptos on Aptos. I think that this one's the meme on Linea. So uh, that would be my meme plays of the show just to keep it fun and interesting. But, you know, obviously centric on the gaming niche. As mentioned earlier, quick shout out to our sponsors. We have the AI first person shooter Xverse coming out with their TGE this month. It's incubated by Cetify, backed by KuCoin Labs, as well as powered by Immutable. This one is honestly very quality. If you look, they're having tournaments. They're, you know, announcing new parts partnerships every single day. And I think that it's going to be a, a pretty interesting one to take a look at when it goes into market. So a uh, big shout out to Xverse for their upcoming TGE. We have Dreams Quest, which is teasing out their alpha drop. So this is kind of the way that the mobile game is going to be set up on the phone. As you see the UI, the different things, the graphics and you know, for a mobile game, definitely, uh, definitely pretty solid quality here. So shout out to Dreams Quest for their Origins, the Fall of Azoria game. Uh, this should be coming out soon. And I believe that is a premiere of this footage. They haven't posted this anywhere. So we got our hands on this first uh, to bring to you on in the game. We also have Pika Moon, which we're going to have them on the show this weekend. So Pika Moon, NFT, play to earn game kind of toes the line between a game and a meme coin, super loyal community. I think this is a very interesting one. I want to know more. So we're going to have them on the show. One of our sponsors here on the channel on Saturday. So check out that video. And then last, but certainly not least Nord VPN stay safe. I'm seeing so many compromises out there. It's, it's ridiculous. Use something at least like a VPN to protect your location, hide your IP address, and be able to navigate securely. Save big four months additional and a 30-day money-back guarantee down below in the description. I never do these shows without using a VPN. So I think you should definitely have a VPN that you are taking advantage of. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today's show. In summary, gaming's not dead. And in fact, when people are capitulating out of gaming tokens... I think it's the best time to buy up their bags and you can ride up those gains while whenever the gaming narrative comes back, they're going to be aping back in at higher prices. So guys, like the video, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow on the Saturday show. As always, play well, my friends.